Hey, good morning, everyone. I wanted to totally, you know, I'm trying to be consistent with, you know, putting out material, you know, with, you know, after my morning meditations and after, you know, morning prayers and stuff, what I'm given, I'm going to bring you a piece and share that with you guys. I was given Isaiah 43 this morning. I'm not 100% sure why yet, but it was pretty interesting as I read through it. I haven't read all of it yet this morning. I totally, I found that I had more things to do this morning than I thought, but I wanted to make sure that I stay true to my commitment to this though, to you guys. So it's Isaiah 43. Um, this is God's promise, basically, to uh, Israel. And he's speaking prophetically. Isaiah is speaking, it's actually some really deep stuff in here as to where God is, who God is. Isaiah proclaims it here as he finds it for himself within him. And he takes ownership, responsibility. He takes up his cross, which he had already taken up his cross, I'm sure, and he had already attained. But the Godhead was fully realized within Isaiah. A seer, a prophet, by the hand of the divine, an astrologer, by the hand of God. But now, thus saith the Lord that created thee, O Jacob, and he that formed thee, O Israel, fear not, for I have redeemed thee. I have called thee by thy name, thou art mine. When thou passest through the waters, I will be with thee. And through the rivers, they shall not overflow thee. When thou walkest through the fire, thou shalt not be burned, neither shall the flame kindle upon thee. For I am the Lord thy God, the Holy One of Israel, thy Savior. I gave Egypt for thy ransom, Ethiopia, and Sabah for thee. Since thou wast precious in my sight, thou hast been honorable, and I have loved thee. Therefore, therefore I will give men for thee, and people for thine life, for thy life. Fear not, for I am with thee. I will bring thee seed from the east, and gather thee from the west. I will bring thy seed, sorry, sorry. I will bring thy seed from the east and gather thee from the west. All, like yesterday in the scripture, all the parts of you are coming home to this place, to this now, to this reality, this time, this dimension. You are here. So may all of you be here in one vessel. I will say to the north, give up, and to the south, keep not back. Bring my sons from afar, and my daughters from the ends of the earth. It sounds like there's also a, a physical regathering of a family, of a unit, of a soul tribe. Even, one, even everyone that is called by my name, for I have created him or her, for my glory. I have formed him or her. Yea, I have made them. It says him, but man, it's all written in really, really sexu sexist, uh, chauvinistic <laughs> ways, you know? So I totally want to make it for everybody, male and female, because even me, I am both. You are both. Male and female created he them. Bring forth the blind people that have eyes, and the deaf that have ears. Let all the nations be gathered together, and let the people be assembled. Who among them can declare this, and show us former things, and shew us former things? Let them bring forth their, their witnesses, that they may be justified, or let them hear and say it is truth. Ye are my witnesses, saith the Lord, and my servants whom I have chosen, that ye may know and believe me, 
and understand that I am He before before me there was no God formed there was no God formed before you the God within you like the divine all credit is always to God but we are vessels we are co-creators in this a mighty God is a living man that knows God himself that God operates through that is a powerful person that is a powerful leader ye are my witnesses saith the Lord and my servants whom I have chosen that ye may know and believe me and understand that I am he before me there was no God formed neither shall there be after me I, even I, am the Lord, and besides me there is no Savior. I, even I. That's Isaiah speaking right there. This is a first person. We're taught to rightfully divide the word, but yet, if we're taught by those who don't know how to rightfully divide the word, then we're going to mess it up just like they did before us, and they did before them, and they did before that. So, you know what I mean? Ask for the Holy Spirit. Pray for discernment. Pray for faith and hope. Pray that the angels come and reveal this to you. That the Father sends them. Because angels, they're not to be worshipped. They're not to be admired and you're not to fall down before them. The angels that are of our Father will tell you, get up, see to it that you do not worship me. That God, God alone is worshipped alone that God alone is worthy of worship thank you I'm sorry I'm good time time um like I noticed I look up because it's the programming it's the force of habit from when I was a child we're all taught that God is up there and looking down and yes true but God ain't out there though God is out there he's in here you have to find him in here first before you can find him out there because out there just reflects to you what's in here and in here. So you need to, it's a process. It's a process and it's okay. It takes time. Be gentle with yourself. You guys are worth so much, so much so that God himself came and embodied a singular body and died for us. You know, he, I know that, I know that's been played the F out. He knows it's been played the F out. He's done with the crucified Christ. He wants to see the resurrected Christ in us. I'm here to help you with that. I have declared and have saved and I have showed when there was no strange God among you Therefore ye are my witnesses, saith the Lord, that I am God. Yes, you are, and God alone. Yea, before the day was, I am he, and there is none that can deliver out of my hand. I will work, and who shall let it? Thus saith the Lord, your Redeemer, the Holy One of Israel. For your sake I have sent to Babylon, and have brought down all their nobles, and the Chaldeans who cry, whose cry is in the ships. I am the Lord, your Holy One, the Creator of Israel, your King. You are Israel. The body is Israel. It's metaphorical and manifest practical. But you, the body, is Israel. Jerusalem is the heart. You gotta move out of Egypt. You gotta leave the meat pots behind. You gotta go for Jerusalem to the promised land. You gotta move to the promised land. We gotta move out of worldly consciousness to divine consciousness in an embodied practical world. Thus saith the Lord, which maketh a way in the sea, and a path in the mighty waters, which bringeth forth the chariot and horse, the army and the power. They shall lie down together, they shall not rise. They are extinct, they are quenched as tow. 
Remember ye not the former things, neither consider the things of the old. Behold, I will do a new thing now. It shall spring forth. Shall ye not know? Shall ye not know it? It's a question. You should know it. I will even make a way in the wilderness and rivers in the desert. The beast of the field shall, shall honor me, the dragons and the owls, because I give waters in the wilderness and rivers in the desert to give drink to my people, my chosen. This people have I formed for myself. They shall shew forth my praise. But thou hast not called upon me, O Jacob, but thou hast been weary of me, O Israel. Thou hast not brought me the small cattle of thy burnt offerings, neither hast thou honored me with thy sacrifices. I have not caused thee to serve with an offering, nor wearied thee with incense. The offerings, yes, there's practical offerings in the physical. We gave animals, we took life, to save our own lives. In the beginning, it wasn't so. The only offering that is a holy and acceptable pure offering to our Father is the sacrifice of pride and servitude to love. If he gave his life to love, then so will I. And so should you. Because when you love yourself and you love others, the world changes around you in ways that are just, I can't explain. It's a sacrifice burnt on an altar, not made with human hands. We make sacrifices every day, but, you know, some... I'm not gonna, yeah, yeah, I won't touch on that right now. Thou hast bought me no sweet cane with money, neither hast thou filled me with the fat of thy sacrifices, but thou hast made me to serve with thy sins. Thou hast wearied me with thine iniquities. Ouch. I can take that one too. Ouch. Ouch. Uh, I'm trying to quit nicotine and I've cut back so far on pot that it's almost non-existent but still I'm not quite there yet and then I have other you know mental things I'm letting go of physical you know feeling emotions I'm letting go of you know, so it's it's a constant letting go to be refilled you can't fill a cup that's already full and we weary him when we keep doing the same crap of old while being made new. Ouch. I hold myself accountable and I, I stand alongside everyone. I'm no different. I, even I am he that blotteth out the transgressions for mine own sake, and will not remember thy sins. Put me in remembrance. Let us plead together. Declare thou that thou mayest be justified. We're all praying for peace, but nobody's praying for justice. I want justice because that will bring the true peace. Thy first father hath sinned, and thy teachers have transgressed against me. Therefore, I have profaned the princes of the sanctuary and have given Jacob to the curse and Israel to the reproaches. It's the end of chapter 43. Ouch. I hope everybody gets something out of that or as much as I did. May you guys all be healed, sealed, guided, and protected upon your path.